What's happening? And welcome back to another episode of the Account for Your Life podcast. Jay Moore here, the healthy accountant, helping you to account for your life. Let me ask you a question. Have you seen this book? Did you know that this book is available on, it's on Amazon, so you can grab it there, Living Life on the Next Level. Here is the sponsor of today's podcast, Living Life on the Next Level. Is, is sponsoring today's podcast. So the Account for Life podcast is all about getting to a new level. I'm Jay Moore, the healthy accountant. And today, this is where possi- where impossible meets possible. And today we're going to talk quickly and briefly about a law. A law that I discovered several years ago. Uh, I bought a book written by Deepak Chopra, maybe about six, a good five or six years ago. Uh, it's called the Seven Spiritual Laws of Success. Um, Deepak Chopra wrote this book, and you know I was getting into these, getting into these mental things and mental exercises. And I says Seven Spiritual Laws. I says Wow, um, but it wasn't. You know, at the time, you know, I'm reading the Bible a lot. And I was like, Well, that that's not the Bible. So let me let me check out what a spiritual law is. And so I went, purchased the book. I purchased the actual physical copy on Amazon. And then I was like, man, let me also get the audio. So I downloaded the audio. So I was reading the physical copy, listening to the audio. And and one of the one of the laws that really captured my, it captured my just imagination, captured my attention, is the law of detachment. Now I'm going to use this law today in in really discovering, you know, what it's like to make change and how a person can make change and use this law. And I remember when I started using the law, I was, you know, I started using it and I was telling Jenny about it. And, and um, she, at one point, she was so upset at me because she was like, you trying to detach from me? What are you doing? You can't detach from me. No, I'm not trying to detach from you. I'm trying to detach from the outcomes. Even if, it, even if those outcomes involve you, I just want to, detach myself from them so I don't feel anything. So a lot of times what happens is um, we we find ourselves in situations where we feel feel some kind of way. Like you get emotional because because someone told you no. We get emotional because you know something that we wanted, something that we desired didn't happen. We get, you know, you know we find ourselves in a situation where we're trying to do things. Have you ever tried to do something? And the interesting thing about trying to do something, trying to do anything, we're going to wind up not doing it. Trying is is a nice way of saying, I'm probably not going to do it. So if you've ever used the word, I'm trying, be careful. Just like if you've ever used the word, I want, be careful. I'm not saying you can't get past it. You know, because for Jay, I say I, I want all the time and I get it. Good, because you can always our internal mechanism can override. I'm just saying, want is the introduction of lack, and so because I'm under this new awareness, I'm 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 looking to ch- personally change the language that I use around anything that I desire, anything that I like. So I'm I'm looking to for me, I'm looking to detach from that word. So in the book, Living Life on the Next Level, the the, the first chapter. After I explain um, what next level is, I I go into change. And the interesting thing about change is that change is inevitable. Say that with me. Is change inevitable? Absolutely. Change is inevitable. And how is change inevitable? Change is inevitable because from the time that we're born, we are changing. There's, There's no day, there's no hour, there's no minute, there's no second that we are not changing. Our cells are changing, our, like everything around us is changing. So when we look at just from the start of our life, we're changing every moment. Now, what happens is we get to the point where we're full grown. I'm getting to the attachment in a section. second. We get to the point where we are full grown. And then we don't see, we don't necessarily, I'm not getting taller anymore. Huh. But then there's other things that start changing, right? You know, after you finish high school, after you finish college, start working, you're not you're not as active. Next thing you know, the body starts changing. How is the body changing? Oh, one part of the body starts to stick out more or the whole body starts to, for some reason, gets bigger. They say, well, that's normal. 
to get bigger? Well, I don't know that it should be. Like once you get to a certain height, a certain certain height and weight, you, we shouldn't necessarily be gaining a whole lot of weight, unless, like say in my case, uh, I probably have fifteen pounds. Like, like I gained a bunch of muscle. Now, but here's the thing: in the process, I did gain some fat. And one of the things that I'm working on this month is that I'm going to take off. I'm going to take off the body fat that I don't want. See, look at that. I, could, I didn't even change it. I'm going to take off the body fat that I dislike. I'm going to take off the body fat that I no longer desire. That's going to happen this month. I'm going to show some pictures probably in June from where I was in January so that people can see, oh, James, look at the change. Look at the changes to Jamie. Even the healthy accountant is making changes. Yeah, because here's the thing. I'm going to change anyway. And if I'm going to change anyway, let me detach myself from anything that I no longer desire. So let's look at this law of detachment. The law of detachment, and I'm just going to give you the paraphrase, what I, how I understand it to be, is that when there are outcomes that we ultimately desire, when there are outcomes that we ultimately do not necessarily um, desire for ourselves as well, we detach from them. Meaning, it's, it's kind of like I get bad news. And even though the bad news Emotionally, I could feel a certain way. Emotionally, I could cry. I just have to detach from it. You know, I have to detach from if I'm on a sales call. You know, you know, I get on the call and I know that I would love to sell. I know that I would love to get paid on this on this call and, and someone to sign up in our programs. And I must detach from the outcome. See, because I remember when I was not detached from the outcomes. I was talking, man, it's not working. Things aren't working because it's it's like, you know, I, I'm taking all these calls and I and I really want this is when I I I, I was on the one. I really want this to happen. I really want this to happen. I really want this to happen. The more I wanted it, the more I did not get it. I did I had to shift on my mindset to detach from the outcomes. You know, outcomes are interesting because. It's nothing like, it's nothing like needing something. It's not, I, I'm just saying, I'm saying, it's nothing like needing something. See, needing something, man, I need to eat. I need to pay my bills. I need to take care of my family. I need to be a good help. I need, need, need. The thing, it's like the things that we need is almost like, like, man, how do I detach from my needs so that my needs are come to me by the phone. How do I do that? Well, what I've discovered, here's what I've discovered. I remember when Jenny left the job and when she left the job, she gave up the benefits of our kids going to Georgetown University for free. She gave the benefits up. And I said, she, she was like, what are we going to do? Like, you know, we had necessarily, we had necessarily been saving for college. They're going to have to, they're going to go to school and the, how, how, how are we going to pay for it? I said, you know, I think, I think, I think God's going to take care of that. Like, I didn't necessarily know exactly how, I just knew it was going to happen. And so that was, I think that was five years before Jared, our first son, had, had to go to college. And all of a sudden, we had enough money to do whatever it is we need to do. It was like we had more money. We had more money. See, what happened in the process is, even though we knew that we needed something, I know personally I detached from it. I detached from needing it. Because back in 2018, when, when, when God delivered me from worry of whether or not money was going to come in for things, he delivered me from it. And he delivered me by showing me that, hey, if you don't have it, like if you if you don't physically have it, why are you even thinking about it? <laughs> he said, if you don't physically have it, why do you don't think about it? And if you and if you know that I have it, then you don't think that I would give it to you? You don't think that I would take care of you? And when I had that conversation with God, I was just like, Oh, okay, so I'll leave that to you. 
I will handle my business. I will do what it is that I must do. And I'll let you do what you got to do. And do you know, it's like, you know, then we had two kids in college. You know, almost $3,000 a month. Yeah, two kids paying almost $3,000 a month. And, and that's nothing. Luckily, they got scholarships. <laughs> so, so, so they were kids that got got They they both got presidential oh, presidential scholarships to book to their schools. So that was a good chunk of the tuition. Got a couple grants, and I mean, we took out a, we took out small loans, very tiny, like five thousand maybe. Not even not not even much, just small. But we're you know, I'm just saying we're paying like three thousand dollars a month between both of them. And it's amazing that we're doing it. And it's just like, oh, look at that. We did that's another house note. God said, I got it. You don't have to think about it. And he didn't God didn't tell me to detach from it. That was something that that I allow myself to do. In order to get to where I know me is going to be. See, at the end of the day, guys, if we're going to use, by using this law of detachment, by using the law of detachment, here's, here's what I can tell you from experience. You need something. You're going to say, Lord, you know I need this $1,000 this month. Lord, you know I need this five thousand. Lord, you know I. He's like, I know you need it, but what are you doing? Are you seeking first the kingdom of God and my righteousness, that all the things you need will be added to you? Are you doing that? See, when God asked me that question, He says, Lord, if you, He says, Son, by doing that, then I have to do these things. I have to take care of you as a kingdom citizen. It's just like, okay. And what's interesting is your life will be taken care of. Now, here's here's a one. It doesn't mean you'll be rich. It doesn't mean you'll be, you know, you'll have so much more money than you. Oh my goodness, I have so much money. It doesn't mean that. I'm not saying that that's not a that that couldn't be a part of it. See, because everybody's journey is different. It could mean that you're gonna have a lot, but it may not. See, that comes on a different path. Now we have to grow and change again. That's that next level, isn't it? <laughs> That's that next level. We have to grow and change again. And how does one grow and change to now start reaching those? Well, there's a ride that I'm going to take you on. I'm going to take you on this ride. I'm going to take you on a ride where where God totally manifests all the riches that our desires can fathom. He's going to manifest these things through us. And my life, my life will be a testimony. My family will be a testimony for receiving, receiving from God abundances that, that we, like, we don't deserve it. We don't deserve it. The reason why we get it is because we seek first the kingdom. And the reason why we get it is that we don't focus on lack. What we focus on is we focus on the abundance that we already are. We focus on the fact that I am rich. You know, I love the book, You Were Born Rich by Bob Proctor, where it says, You were born rich in resources. I am rich in resources. And I am rich in money. I am rich and wealthy. I am filled with the Holy Spirit and I am filled with the power that he gives me to even heal others in this area of money. I know that I have the power to heal people with money. I remember it was, I think it was 2020 or 2021. And I was like, oh. Look, I'm a doctor of money. He says you are. He says you are a doctor and you will heal. So here's the thing. How does one get from here to there? Change. Change is inevitable. So 
whatever you desire, there is a change in between where you are and where you would like to be. The job that everyone has today is to find out what is the change that I must make. Or it, as we're talking about this law of detachment, what do I need to detach myself from so that this change can happen automatically? Last thing before I let you go. In the book, Living Life on the Next Level, I, I talk about, and it's crazy because I didn't have any awareness of what I was saying as I wrote this book. To real, real talk, no awareness. I, I was literally in real time speaking out the power that God put into me. It just came out in one city. So I spoke an awareness that I had when I wrote the book of automatic change, change that I had no awareness that that was coming. Be, I was five three, going into high, going into high school. I had no awareness of change. I had no awareness that I would get taller. Now, there was a couple of indications, but I didn't have any awareness that big feet was an indication. My mom never told me, oh, it looks like you're going to be tall. No one ever said you're going to be tall. I never got, I never, I, no one ever spoke that over my life. And I'm just, I'm living my life a certain way. I grow tall. And it was like, well, how in the world did you get tall? Back then, I, I didn't know. But when I look back, I said, well, it was, it was something that you didn't have to focus on because I already put it in there. That change was built in. There are changes that are built into you that's only you that makes you you. And the thing is, more than likely, we are detached from it. That's why it happened. The more we become attached to something, the harder it becomes to get. So when you use the law of detachment, just know whatever change that should happen in your life, when you use the law of detachment, by default, you will get it because you are no longer focused on it. And that change just like it literally just comes. Whether that's going to be money, whether that's going to be some physical power, whether that's going to be mending relationships, whether that's going to be getting back to great health, whatever it is for you, allow the change to happen using this law of detachment simply by knowing that I don't even have to, I don't even have to think about it. All I have to think about is moving towards what my desires are. And if I move towards what my desires are, detach from them. I so guys, make sure you jump over to Amazon and grab this book, Living Life on the Next Level. This is a powerful book. I got one of my friends who read the book recently. Um, she told me how powerful it was for her and how she knows that this book was written to help her life. And so make sure you grab this book. If you like an autographed copy, I can. you can pay me direct and I can send it to you autographed with a special note just for you. So guys, J Motor Healthy Accountant, helping you to account for your life. God bless, and I'll see you on the next episode. This has been the Account for Your Life podcast with your host, the healthy accountant himself, Jay Moore. Until next time, make it a